Yo, G1, what's good, baby right. boy? What's up, Sean? You already know what it is, man. We in Golden Acres. Right. Project 1800. You already know what it is, man. I'm aware a lot of people, You just, everybody just can't come through this 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 section, oh, nah, right? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, you can come, but you just can't flag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You already know what it is. You feel me? A lot of people that come, it's a tourist. What they say, the tourist attraction now. Yeah. People just drive through just to be like, okay, this Golden Acres. I've been through ugly corner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people come through here because, you know, Kodak talks about it a lot in his music, Jack yeah. Boy. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like a staple now to come yeah, through exactly. Pompano, right. Broward, and, and and see what's really going on. Right, right, right. And, you know, this ain't, this, this place right here, there's nothing sweet about it. No. You know what I mean? What goes on on the day-to-day? -day? On the day-to-day, -day, you know, right now it's calm. Matter of fact, it's always calm. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the crazy shit. It be calm, the next thing you know, you wake up, something happens. Next block, they get shot, next block, this, that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The typical shit that goes on in the hood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Would you, would you, would you say you're OG around, around here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely, yeah. I'm OG. You know what I'm saying? Before, before they knew about 1800, before they knew about Golden Acres, you know what I'm saying? I, before MySpace, wait on MySpace, I was screaming, Golden Acres and, and, and all that. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, basically what it is, it's like I'm OG, I, I stamp. Yeah. I'm now, down. now, when when I when you type in G1 on YouTube and right. on social media, the blog sites, your name is in a lot of crazy situations from getting right. shot right. to beefing with your own cousin right. to rapping. Right. It's a right. lot of different topics we could touch right now. So exactly. much we could t we could talk right. about. Um, but let's talk about the up and up. Did you create Sniper Gang? Is that like well, is that yours? See, no, I never. Um, that's one thing everybody everybody thought that I created Sniper Gang. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, it's like, I was screaming sniper. You know, I was just basically the main guy everywhere we went. Sniper, sniper, sniper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next thing you know, it's like, and they already been big boy. One big boy, right? Top. Oh, he backed up. But big boy, a nigga named Big Boy and Kodak started started sniper gang, whatever. Yeah. But it, they never branded. Mm -hmm. I was the one branding it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sniper gang, ENT. Sniper, sniper, sniper. And me by me having a bigger platform, internet platform, before Kodak, it just, it, it just stamped it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then basically, once he got, once he got high, you know what I'm saying? And, and his, his, his followers overlapped me, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, basically, you know, people thinking, okay, yeah, G1 started Sniper, G1 started Sniper, because they see how me and Kodak was fucking with each other, and they see what they hear, what he put on the music, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, to answer your question, I never started Sniper yeah. again. So, you and Kodak are real cousins. Real cousins. How y'all related? Real like real through real. moms and sisters? Um, shit, my mama inside, she can tell you. Yeah. But at the day, it's like, yeah, my mom, basically my mom is like one of the great cousins. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So basically, so it makes us, it's not mom and sister, like his mom is not my auntie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, if it was real, real close like that, it wouldn't really, really be no issue. Yeah. So technically, y'all you know are blood cousins. It's we're really blood. We're blood cousins. We're blood cousins. Yeah. But from a tree, like just like this tree. You know what I'm saying? Just like this tree, and it got roots. You know what I'm saying? It's just like my mama and his mom, and all right, they, they, the elders are the roots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know what now let's is. go back. So you were rapping first. Yeah, I was rapping right? first. And what was that like? You know, your early career rapping. Um, basically, when I started, you know. It was no, it was really no, no platform like this. No Instagram, you know no, Instagram no Twitter, no Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, we really had to hustle. We really had to hustle, get, get the, you know, prep the music. Back then, up. strip club DJs, that All shit. That. Was, yeah. You know, and um, my first mixtape was hosted by DJ Khaled. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to DJ Khaled. You know what I'm saying? I got a song with Rick Ross on there called Flyboy. You know what I'm saying? I was really doing my thing, but at the day I didn't have the support that we, 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 we did for Kodak. We didn't have that movement. Everybody mm -hmm. came together. Yeah. See, when I was rapping and doing it, everybody was hustling. Everybody ain't really had no purpose. Everybody was just, just vibing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I didn't have nobody to pass out my CD. I didn't have nobody to. You know what I'm saying? And basically, now this generation is like, that's what you need to make it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have that. Yeah. So I mean, okay, the start of everything. Polo Poo, was he around? Coley P, with everybody, was it all one at the beginning or nah, not really? Nah, see the thing is, is Coley P and Polo Poo and all them, they, that's their own lane. You know what I'm saying? What, Kai City? You know what I'm saying? They, that's that's Kai City, whatever. But you know, it's a Pompano thing. Pompano's small. 
So that everybody should love each other, everybody fuck with each other at that time. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. everybody was trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? So at a day, it's just like, you know, and, and, and Cody supported it, supported him. You know what I'm saying? Cody um, did him free, I guess, free features with Owen. You know what I'm saying? What you said, talk? I said, Cody the one that put him out there. Put him out there? Yeah, and Polo put that in his name and all. So at a day, it's like, you know, it's, it's yeah, shots out to Cody. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, on Polo Poo. Nah, for sure. So you're rapping, and then what? Would you stop rapping? You know, a lot of just nah, get to the streets. Like nah, what happened see, after basically that? Basically, I got trapped. I got trapped in the streets. What I mean by trapped, because back then it's like, wow. While I'm growing, while I'm I'm buzzing, I'm getting popularity. My plugs getting bigger. You know what I'm saying? My screen cred getting bigger. I'm making hella bread. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Nicki Minaj. She gave me my first show in 2009. I booked Nicki Minaj at Club Cinema. 4,200 people came. Wow. I was the first nigga in Broad that booked them. Made a bag. Made a bag. How much you, you, made, what you make that night, man? <laughs> Actually, we made a, over 100 and something racks, but I almost, I, I, I almost went to jail that day for Damn. kidnapping. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Kidnapping. Yeah, I almost went to jail because they, they my partners. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They try to run off with that bag. Oh man. You know what so I'm saying? So when the money come, people change. Yeah, money come because I'm back there with Nicki Minaj, bringing her on stage. You know what I'm saying? We had Birdman, we had BT, everybody, all the sponsors, free sponsors. Right. Every, while I'm introducing, they back there getting that bag. Definitely. So by the time the end of the night, we got 4,200 people, we got 22,000 in the register, but the tickets say 140. You gonna come from? Where, so, where the other 80 at? Where the, you gonna come from? <laughs> so, you know me, yeah, I was, I was, back then I was ratchet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? I ain't, you feel me? But anyways, the music, the popularity when I was making music, dropping tracks, Rick Ross, Briscoe, Gunplay, all them boys and shit like that. You know, the money, the street money was getting to me. So I had days like, now I'm less days in the studio, less time in the studio, less, now I'm recording on my phone, but I ain't gonna drop it. Yeah. Because I got big plays, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had a days like, with the Kodak situation, you feel me, just like I used to tell them, I'm like, look, you have the advantages, like now we have a whole bunch of OGs willing to be like, nah, bro, you don't have to do what, you, what we did, so you don't be distracted, go ahead and, and go get your bag, do that music shit. I didn't have nobody for that, and that's where I came from, and that's why everybody idolized the whole situation. Because everywhere I went, everywhere I'm letting them know, like, look, you don't need to do nothing. You straight. Let us do what we gotta do. You gonna come from? Let us pass out the CDs. Let us get you the clubs. Let us da da da, and you gonna prosper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you stop rapping. You fall back from that a little bit, hustling. Right. right. How soon after that was Kodak coming out with the? You know, cause now he has the he got the viral video when nah, he was fourteen rapping. Right, right. How soon that was, after that, that? That was um that was Brutal Youngins. So that's how the Brutal Youngins, the Wiley, him nigga, and all that. You know what I'm saying? They basically um they basically was starting, but it took like after about like four five years after I, I finished rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Probably like three four years after that, I started. I come over here, AD. Shouts out to AD. AD sat me in the car. AD said, "Look, on God." AD say. Damn G, what's up? You feel me? Your name, the whole weight, whatever. It's your little cousin, and I already know you gonna look out for fam. A lot of niggas ain't looking out for him, but you wildin' him, nigga. So what we gonna do to the? He's like, he'll give me percentage and all that. I got it. You feel me? The email, something, the email, and everything. I'm like, nah, money don't blood don't make money off blood. I got it. I do it on the house. That's my little cousin. Yeah. And basically that's how it started. Mm -hmm. I got out of that car, and after that, boom, me, one of my baby mamas, whatever, we started. Doing the internet platform, doing everything, and we just started working. Right. That's basically what it was. You feel me? And, I, and basically. So you you were like his mentor, kind of like. Yeah, right? yeah. You yeah. feel me? Every time, you know what I'm saying? He, every time when he want to get away, he come to Fort Myers, and that's where the whole Fort Myers came came from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Every time he want to get a bag, you know what I'm saying? He come to Fort Myers, he hit me up, cause you know I'm low key. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just like you know, sometimes I'm not gonna bring you, like I'm not gonna bring you around where, where you need gun at. That's the thing about me. You feel me? If I invite you somewhere, I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, you gotta come with the sticks. You gotta be no, you can come safe, you can straight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what he liked it about. Okay, now let's speed it up. No flocking goes viral. Right. It's going crazy. Drake right. posted it. Right. It's going crazy. Are you still around then or no? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was I was all the way around to I was it's in the car, we in the car. Basically, I was all the way around to to I got locked up 2016 for uh, two attempted murders. Damn. Two attempted murders. You beat him? 
I'm here. And I'm just saying, you know, I thought you probably <laughs> still fighting him on probation. Or oh something no, like no, I'm here. Oh, right. I beat him. Right. I beat him. Everything I do, I beat him. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, you feel me? It's self defense, though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Even though the nigga though, I'm on black and white told on me, but mm. but long story short, you know what I'm saying? I went in, in 2016 yeah. and I did a year. So while I'm in jail. My dog's big homies telling me, hey, look, bro, shit ain't gonna be the same when you when you get out. Mm -hmm. Because he got new niggas around him, and you know how niggas knew how you how you and him relationship was. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, nah, nah. Me and my cub, bitch, we, we, we locked in, nigga. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing gonna tell us apart. We locked in. You know what I'm saying? So boom, I get out. You know what I'm saying? So be it. I get out, I go to his house. You feel me? Then he told me. Hey, yeah, man, somebody said that you started Sniper Gang and uh, uh, you made me and th and I told him, I said, look, huh? So Kodak came to your crib and told you that? No, I went to his crib. You went to his crib and he told you that? Yeah, I went okay, to his crib. Okay. I went to his crib. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he like, hey, uh, somebody said you started Sniper Gang and th And I'm like, listen, first of all, I'm grown, I'm out here. I'm 100% real. Even if I felt that way, I won't tell the next nigga that so he can tell you. Second, you going by what the streets already thinking. You gonna come from the streets already thinking that already because I've been around. You know what I'm saying? So I said basically, holler at me because it was a birthday. Mm -hmm. So I said, holler at me when you, you know what I'm saying? When you figure this shit out. So I had a long story short, I just, I want my distance. Over that. Yeah, situation. because at the end of the day, I already knew it was never going to be the same because once, you feel me, everything that we established, every all everything that we're going to been through, if you're going to take, a hear, he say, she say. It's tarnished. Nah, it's tarnished. Yeah. Like, me, uh, no matter how bond, if me and you got a bond, I don't give a fuck about he say, she say. I don't care if a bitch say, oh, you started, oh, gee, a bitch started you. Okay, fuck that. I don't care. you going to come from? Yeah. It is what it is, whatever. I ain't going to, I ain't going to build. No animosity or, or none of that. So therefore, I felt the bad vibe, and he had none, the new niggas around him. You gonna come from? Yeah. So that ain't nobody gonna tell him like, hey, bro, this is how the streets is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, right now, now we're in Golden Acres right now, and when you say new niggas, are these people that you've never seen before, or these people from around this area some, that some people I've never seen before, and some people that's that that while they was in Golden Acres, while they was seven, eight years old, watching Kodak. And us doing our transition into and the wanted world, to be apart and want to be apart, but couldn't. But couldn't. Now they're older. They don't. They don't have ties to me. They don't. Owe, you know what I'm saying? I'm two generations up, so they don't have a point to prove to me. I don't. I don't know them. I don't owe them nothing because there's a lot of people stay out here. So they're gonna try to show their loyalty. You feel me? They're gonna put. They're gonna put a sword in your ear like, oh, you don't need this nigga. You don't. Da -da -da -da, you can do it. And at the day, you don't need me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I always tell him that. You don't need me, you don't need nobody. And that's the thing that he loved about me. I always remind him, bruh, you can see on videos, that's why he put me on songs, because I'm the nigga like, bruh, you don't need me, you don't need nobody. All you gotta do is be consistent with your music. Right, for sure. That's it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the conversation happens, y'all stop y'all stop speaking less and less. Right. What's next? Cause it gets it, it starts getting ugly around late 2017, right? Mm -hmm. 18, Instagram, disc records. When did it go south for real? Uh, basically went south when, when you feel me, a situation happened. You know what I'm saying? A situation happened with, with, with his little minions that he had no, no part of it. He had no doings of it. Kodak had no part of it, whatever. So you know what I'm saying? My, my, one of my older brothers and one of his new niggas got into it. Cause one of my older brothers said, fuck Kodak. You know what I'm saying? My older brother said, man, fuck Kodak, nigga. That's, that's my little cousin, nigga. Y'all coming around here thinking, da -da -da, fuck him, tell him, fuck him, da -da -da. So right there on the spot, the young nigga like, nigga, fuck you, nigga, da -da -da. and they got in a fight, da -da -da situation. So basically, I'm like, boom, I hit up Kodak, whatever, my little cub. I'm like, listen, you feel me? I understand what's going on, whatever, and these niggas supposed to be loyal to you or whatever, but don't have them come to my mama house or, or whatever, and he like, he ain't got nothing to do with it. I said, all right, well, don't don't be on internet with them. Don't be on da da da. Then if you if you put yourself on internet with them, then I'm a, you shit on my face. So two three weeks later, they on a private jet. You get what I'm saying? They on a private jet, and he got one of them niggas that fought my brother, whatever. This nigga not no blood. So boom, that's why I did the diss track. Diss track. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna I ain't gonna knock you out. I ain't gonna knock on your door, fight you. I'm gonna hit you where you hurt. I'm gonna put a diss track, not even a diss track, it's not. Cause I ain't say fuck you like that, I ain't, it's a facts track. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what made me put it out. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that's what hurt him the most. Yeah, so is there anybody in the family that's stepping in like, yo, what are y'all doing? It's, 
you know, Kodak successful, you doing your thing. No, because at the days it's like it's like it's like one of those families that is a competition. I feel like it's competition like it's different last name and, and he became a football player first and and I have my shot, so fuck him. You gonna come from? Fuck yeah. him, what up to the in their mind because the older they, his generation, the older people, whatever, in their mind, my space days, I had it. You know what I'm saying? His level to the level he had now, in their mind, that's the level they thought I was on back in 08, 09, 010. So in their mind, they feel like when I was in the Range Rovers and shit like that, oh, I'm supposed to da 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 But they didn't know back then, ain't no royalties like that. There was no, <laughs> there was no streaming platforms like that. Mm -hmm. There was nothing. You gonna come from, they don't know that shit. But they just like, I was on some street shit, so I carried myself so humble and so good that, oh yeah, this nigga got it. So now when the next nigga get on, they feel like I'm already straight. So boom, they gonna put in his mind, like, bro, you don't need, oh nah, fuck him, you straight, fuck him, fuck him. Yeah. Everybody knew that once you get me out of the picture, he'll be vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? It's common sense. It's like, you have a best friend that tell you right from wrong. You know what I'm saying? They know right. once he's out of the picture, you're vulnerable. And basically that's what it is. Yeah. You I seen you say uh something online, uh basically the reason Codex the reason Kodak keeps going in and out of jail is because it's surround the people surrounding him. Yeah. You said that uh, on the internet. That's facts. Everybody knows that. Yes, man. Don't you think that? Don't you think that though, Sean? I mean, I don't know these people personally. I know you, you know, know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, don't you think that? Because when when in the beginning he stayed longer out of jail. It's facts. If you want to go facts, right? Yeah. He stayed long with him, nigga, Wally. Everybody, he stayed longer out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the day, it's like now, you got these new niggas. You got niggas leaving fire. You got niggas to the back then riding. Niggas gonna take that. You gonna come from? Niggas gonna take that. Like, oh yeah, I mean, come on, cuz I got that. I know your worth. These niggas wanna be around, you can come from and use it. So out of day, it's like, that's why you keep going to jail consistently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Basically, come on, if you with me, if I'm with you, bro, just like you say, you don't smoke. I ain't gonna jump in your car. I ain't gonna jump in your car smoking because I know you ain't no, it's a non-smoking environment. You gonna come from? So out of day, these niggas go, fire, oh yeah, we gotta, uh, let's do this, let's da 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 Me, I'm a type of nigga, nah, bro, leave that shit. Leave that shit, da 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 my face gate. That's the type of shit I used to be on. I used to be like, nah, my face gate. Any nigga do, any nigga apply pressure, they know what's, what's gonna come. You feel me? That's what it is, bro. That's all I know. These niggas, they trying to get brownie points because they knew, and if they want to be rappers, they self. The, his old camp, we ain't want to be, we ain't care about being a rapper. We ain't care about none of that. We were trying to make him make it. We don't give a fuck about being a rapper or not. We straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the niggas, the new niggas around them, they want to be rappers. They want to go viral. They want to, oh, this gang gang shit. Da -da -da. Back then, it was not on that. You know what I'm coming from? If you look at all the uncuts, all the videos, bitch, we out there passing out. We loading up CDs. You gonna come from? We at every show. We taking pictures. We look at the new niggas. What they doing? You don't see none of them bagging up CDs. They eat. You don't see none of them doing that. What they doing? Clutching. You gonna come from? They ain't, you feel me? So they ain't have his best interest. So Codex in jail right now. It's right. trial date next month. Free Kodak. Um, when he gets out of jail, how how can this be? Oh, it will never, How can this be, you know? It will never be straight. Never? Never. Although this is your blood, this See, is family. Nah, it will never be straight. I wish him I wish him the most success. You know what I'm saying? I wish he'd get out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I've been to jail a couple of times, and I'm here because a lot of people wanted me out. You know what I'm saying? So, at that day, it's just like, I don't wish jail on that nigga. I'd rather a nigga be out here to handle his pressure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at that day, it will never be straight. I mean, but Codex, what, only 21, 22? Yeah. He got a lot of growing to do. He may get out as a different man and, and may want to get, you know, so people I'm back saying, in his life. But if a nigga knock two of your teeth out, he knock two of your teeth out, then he, what, he, what? Yeah, every time you go in the mirror, you see, you, you smile, you missing two teeth, and then the next day you want to be cool with that nigga? That uh, mm -hmm. It already happened. You gonna come from? Then I'm pussy. I'm soft, right? Right? Basically, you saying I'm pussy. Nah, no, I'm not I saying. Say no, I'm just saying. Babe, I know you. I mean, from the outside looking in. It from, but it's, it, what it matters is from the inside looking out. It's, it's, mm. It matters from what I stand on. Yeah. You gonna come from? So if I be like, yeah, I fuck with you, then I'm pussy. Cause then it's kind of like you accepting that. And I never accepted anything in my life. 
you gonna come wrong? So why would I accept that? So uh, yeah. then I'm 30, what, 35 years old? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So out of day now, what? Because of my blood, accept? No, nah, I don't accept, no. Nah. Yeah. I mean, because. I'm at a, a certain level of success in my life, and Kodak is too. He's way, I mean, way more money. Right. It's kind of funny because when you think he changed, but as him getting money, he feels people change against him. You know what I mean? It's, it's like a, a double-edged sword. When you get, when the success, it's you don't know if somebody's hating or, and when you're at the top, right. I mean, when you're at the bottom. See, the thing is, is like, look at the, all right, look at the money you getting, right? You don't have time to be in negativity. That says a lot. The more money, if you really got money, you won't be out here fucking up. I'm not rich. You don't see me out here fucking up. You don't, you get where I'm coming from? So it just say, just let that, don't let that go over your head now. If you got bread, why are you out here fucking up then? You got so much time in your hands. If you getting all this money, you getting all that, da da da, why are you out here fucking up? Because back then, when you was getting 15 bands a show, you was in fucking up. You out here Jaguar, you out here thrr, you out here dropping hits, you out here, you gonna come from? Now you way in an acne position, you the highest position. Now it's like, you, you, you the bottom, like your mentality bottom, like hold up, it's opposite. It's supposed to be once you up here, yeah, if you gonna cut niggas off, cut everything off, stay in Calabasas, whatever, get your bread, drop them hits, Go hang out with them rappers. You gonna come from like football players, hang with football players, basketball, hang with basketball. Go hang with some rappers and get your money. You, that's basically what it is, bro. Hustlers hang with hustlers. Rappers hang with rappers. Football players hang with ball players. You gonna come from? So out of day, why you out chill? Why you out chill doing whatever? You know what I'm saying? So I don't yeah. know. He got his reasons. I don't know. All right. Now you been shot three times? Yeah, not nah, two times. Two times. Right. But you've been shot at three different times? No, I've been shot at multiple times. Multiple times. Multiple times. All right, without getting too deep into that, because, you know, I'm only speaking on this because it's on the internet. Um, this happened in this area right here? No, when I got shot, when I got, see, that's the thing. Let me clear this shit up. For all you, you feel, I, matter of fact, I don't blame the Kodak fans because they don't know. I don't blame y'all. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all, y'all, when you get, get a lot of heat from the niggas, right? Yeah, I get a lot of heat. Fans. I get a lot of heat. <laughs> I don't blame y'all because y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all wailing Texas or Indianapolis. Y'all don't know what's going on the streets. Y'all don't know what's going on. So I don't blame y'all when y'all be like snitching. I got paperwork. A lot of niggas saying, "Oh, G1 told on Kodak yeah. and da -da 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 -da. a lot of that on the internet. A lot of shit, a lot of that shit on the internet. You gonna come from? I got paperwork. You feel me? Second of all, you feel me? The shit that Kodak went down for, they saying that happened March or whatever. Mm. I was nowhere around. That's a whole totally different day. Yeah. That's a whole totally different six, seven, eight months. So y'all had to get y'all facts straight. So at the day on my black and white, I clearly stated, I don't know who did it. So you were questioned, but you- Oh, I was questioned. Yeah. I'm the victim. Okay. Yeah. When you on victim, when you the victim, you gonna always yeah, be on always, paperwork. Always, always. It's what you say on that paperwork. People don't know. Oh shit, his name on the paperwork. Okay, I'm a victim, motherfucker. What you want me to do? Yeah. They gonna come to the hospital. You gonna come from? Boom. Hey, what what happened? You know what I'm saying? Boom. Off rip. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Kinda ask me. Do you think it's retaliation? Look, I don't even think it's for me. Clearly, on the black and white. Mm. You gonna come from? So those is two different events. You gonna come from? So out of days, like even if I knew some or didn't know some, I wouldn't say anything because I'd rather a nigga be out here to handle his pressure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So out of days, it's like, you know, it's this fans, the fans like, oh yeah, you telling, oh, you, it's, you the reason why he locked up. No, his new niggas is the reason why he locked up. Yeah. You gonna come from? Because the new niggas would have been like, nigga, no fingerprint. Why your fingerprint on the motherfucking whatever, nigga? Why you in the car with GPS? Why you in a motherfucking? Why you going across the border? You gonna come from with a toolie? Why you gonna come from? That's what me, him, nigga, Wiley, E Pimp. You gonna come from? That's what we're the top of niggas to be like. Nah, bro, we ain't on that. Nah, we ain't gonna cross the border. Nah, bro, your paper straight. Nah, bro, uh, um, you don't need to ride with no fire. Nah, bro, how much bread you got in here? Nah, bro, put that shit on that car. Nah, put it in the bank. Deposit it. Nah, flex it. Nah, da -da 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 -da. and that's the type of shit niggas used to hate. You feel me? Cause at the day, by him being so powerful to the young generation, 
Now I think about you being powerful, right? Say, Cheese, you got 13 niggas with you, right? You got 13 niggas that follow you. Now it's me. I jump out the car, boom, boom, boom. Now you a leader. Now you as a leader, you come to me. What's up, huh? What's up? Now I got my hands around you. Doctor, what's up, nigga? Man, put your pants up. Put your da 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 Now your 13 niggas that follow you ain't gonna like that. They gonna be like, damn, bro, we follow this nigga, but this the leader look like he follow this nigga. But they just don't know we big cuz. It's not no leader. He don't follow me. He's yeah. his own man. You get what I'm coming from? So out of days, like that's what was going on. A lot of niggas hated that. They hated the the the, the influence I had on them. You know what I'm saying? When I come around, I be like, nah, bro, we got too much nigga in this hotel. That boy, y'all boys gotta get out. Oh, nah, bro, we here for Kodak. All right, hold up. Kodak, come in. Hey, yeah, man, big cuz say get out, man. You gonna come from? That's the thing they hated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what, what, you were more of a manager or just the big no, homie like, that made like, shit strong? Like, you, you, you made sure it's like the structure. It's like the liaison. Like what I'm about, the liaison is like when him and AD had problems, his manager, when they had problems, AD would call me and Wally. And I mediated, I called Kodak like, look, bro, yeah, you just crashed the Jag. You got it, because on the way, same example, he, he have a show in Daytona. We'll get him a Jag. On the way to Daytona, he crashed the Jag, and he'll say, I'm not going to the show unless y'all get me another Jag. Mm. You gonna come wrong? So I have to be like, hey, cuz, listen, bro, I know you through the, you feeling yourself, through the, just please, just through the, you know what I'm saying? Just go and make it happen, through the, then when you come back, you gonna get a Jag. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of nigga I am. Boom, you got niggas in Bradenton. You know what I'm saying? You can ask niggas in Bradenton. He had a show in Bradenton. I don't have nothing to do with the show. I'm at my home. You know what I'm saying? They call me, hey man, Kodak is not doing this show because he can't find his shoes. All the stores closed. You gonna come from? Now I'm calling everybody in Bradenton, hey, who got shoes? Who got da 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 You gonna come from? And that's the day he did the um he did the uh Bradenton show with a ski mask on and some Jordan sandals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was because of me. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. He said, bro, I ain't gonna do the show unless you come. I came. I stopped what I'm doing. I came. I pulled up. I made it happen. The promoters thanked me because they already knew it was not gonna happen. You feel me? That's the influence I had on me. Yeah. Now, we're, we're in uh, the Golden Eggers right now. I pulled up, you know, walked in, and I'm, you know, I'm seeing. Bullet holes. Bullet, holes. Bullet holes, man. Like. And this is like down there too. Oh, that thing. Shout out, old girl. Right. Yeah. And this is like you know. Now bullet wounds and scar wounds, man. Bullet wounds, scar wounds, and all these niggas, man. All, all that, man. All that. And this is you know. I can just tell y'all are immune to shit like that. You know what I mean? No, we ain't immune, but if it happened, it happened, and you survived, we bless. You never know until it happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then when you survive, you be like, oh shit, it happened and I survived? You gonna come from? And that's basically what it is. It's not about immune. You never yeah. know what's gonna happen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like getting in a car wreck. You never know. 